I was, uh, when I was still uh, auditioning for a lot of on-camera commercials, TV commercials and stuff, you know, you show up and they go, Tom, they, you know, they, <coughs> they need like a dorky young dad guy for this commercial, so you show up and there's, you know, 35 people in the room that kind of look like you, and you go, boy, this is not how I want to make my living anytime soon. And you, so we went into this audition, but they were auditioning for a holiday seasonal Christmas commercial in the same studio, the next door over. And there were, uh, so there were a bunch of Santa Claus guys, like rotund guys that really do have the <coughs> and all that for real, and looking like Santa's their thing. They get a lot of work for that couple of months of the year. And there were also elves, you know, little people. Uh, probably would have called them midgets back in uh, less politically correct times. And they, they had their, uh, they had their uh, <coughs> outfits, they got the curly shoes, you know, they're all hanging out, just, just all bummed out, like sitting in chairs, folding chairs in the hallway. And there was one midget that was so bitter and so foul mouth. <laughs> it was not so, so, he, so I just, I overheard this guy and he had this great voice and he, you know, and he was going, you know, he's going, let me tell you, he's talking to a fellow low person. You know, let me tell you, if, if it was, he's down here. If it wasn't for the uh, the blankety blank Christmas blank, I wouldn't blanking work. I'm telling you, that there's one blankety time of the blank year that I blanking work, and it's like this time. If it wasn't for the holiday blank, I wouldn't blanking work, and that's just the blanking, 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 blanking truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know where the what's in the blanks, right? And uh, I just listened. To that. I was like, that's amazing. And then I told I told Steve Hilleberg that story, the creator of SpongeBob, long before he came up with SpongeBob, and. Then I totally forgot about it. And years later, I was, um, Steve was telling me about this animated show he had, and he said, I have you in mind for the voice. Do you remember that voice you did about like the bitter little elf guy at the, at the Christmas commercial audition? And I had to think back a little, and I go, I, I, yes, I totally forgot about that story, but yeah. So, so uh, an angry, uh, an angry uh, little person is the, is the reason that uh, I got employed as SpongeBob. <laughs>